Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from the Classy Sassy Life. Um, I am jumping on the bandwagon with the new series I tried planning like. Um, I was asked to do this by my girl E. Michelle at E. Michelle Plans from Instagram. So I went looking through Instagram for some inspiration for my um, post and I found Abby D Creates. So I'm going to try to mimic this spread here. So, I, so I'm going to try to mimic this spread here. A few things may be slightly different because I've used some of the stickers that she uses in her spread. So let's go ahead and jump into this week. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm doing is just flipping to um, my middle section which houses my classic size planner. I am grabbing this week's and pulling it out. I will be doing the monthly view next week um, just because it's more May days than June days. And so let's go ahead and get started with this plan with me. So I'm grabbing my wellness box. Um, and I'm grabbing two habit trackers from there. I didn't use the exact same color as she did. I chose um, I chose this purple one and the hot pink one, but it definitely goes with the color scheme. Now in her spread she used um, a yellow washi but I did not have yellow so I chose to go with this silver. So every place that there was yellow washi tape I laid down um, silver. The next thing I'm doing is flipping through my sticker book to find um, the sticker that goes on top. The color she used was this one, but because I'm using silver, I just felt like that would wash out a lot. So I chose to go with a dark blue. So you're going to see me flip through and see if there are any other colors that I want to use, but I ended up choosing the um, dark blue one that you see there that says this week, and it really goes with the theme as well. So now we're going to go in the Today is the Day sticker book and grab these little boxes here. Um, she used hers for the weather. I'm going to use mine for workouts. So I'm going to lay down the same color options that she did as well because I want to make sure that um, my theme matches. So I was flipping through the Today is the Day sticker book just to make sure that I have everything that I need um, before I closed it up and there was nothing else in there that I needed. So we're going back to the color story. Um, I can go ahead and tell you that the color story sticker book was the basis for this spread. Um, the majority of the stickers come from this book. So I was just pointing out right there that I'm going to have to use those stickers, but I can't use them yet because um, I have to lay them down with something else. So I put this striped sticker in the corner and then I layered this polka dotted sticker with this yellow and white and hot pink um, get it done sticker. And as you can see guys, I'm working with one sheet at a time. I generally have both sheets on screen, but I like working one at a time. So I think that may be something that I continue to do. So what you see me doing now is continuing to flip through and see if there's any other stickers that I need to add to this particular section um, before I move on. Now I can say um, that the hardest part of creating these spreads was were finding the stickers and that's what took the most time. So I'm in my everyday plan sticker book and I'm cutting up this stripe sticker. It's not the exact one that she used but it matches. So this is the one I'm going with and I'm pulling my other 
um, page on screen and I had a, a hard time laying it down straight so you're gonna see me pull it up and um, turn my page sideways so I can line it up with the line okay so now that that is complete um, I was looking for the sticker that she had in the corner because um, she used it for layering and it was in the trendsetter sticker book and I have the mini and it's the perfect size so it kind of looked like brush strokes I guess you can say so she used two circle stickers from the color story sticker book the first one says smile more and the second one which is like two pages over says good vibes only so the whole side of the spread is already complete so now we're going to continue working with the um, the other side of the page and I was looking for a washi that would match I don't have the lime green I pulled out some some green but one was glittered and it was too light and then one was um, polka dot it but it was gold and I was using silver washi so I didn't really want those two to uh, clash so I ended up going with pink it's a part of the color scheme as well so it worked so I laid one strip down and I was going to lay two down because um, the washi that she used was a little bit thicker but then um, it was going to be too thick so I ended up not doing it so the next thing I'm doing is looking for a Be Productive sticker, but I didn't find it yet, but I did find the To Do sticker for Wednesday. And this spread really worked for me this week because um, we have bad weather for Tuesday, so I really was going to run errands on Wednesday and Friday, So, um, and I had a bill to pay on Friday as well, which you guys will see me do in just a moment. So this spread really worked for me. I would have critiqued it a little bit if I needed to, but because it fell right where I needed it to fall, it worked out just fine. Now at the bottom, she used a sticker that said just breathe, but I could not find that sticker. So I used one that was very similar in color that says do all the things. And so now we're ready to go on to the next page of the spread. And once again, I'm going in with my silver washi. Um, there was yellow washi here on her page, but once again, the silver is replacing the yellow. And I'm, I, I try to be pretty anal about how straight this is, so that's why you see me pulling that up, and I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut off the excess. So I went in and grabbed a sticker from my Planner Basics, which is what you see there, and I used this Pay Bill sticker um, because I do have a bill due on the first. And then I was flipping through and I found the Be Productive sticker, so I put that in place um, where it belongs on the first page. So I was flipping through the Color Story sticker book um, trying to find uh, the next sticker that I needed. It was not in there but I went to the Color Coordinated sticker book and I was able to locate it. And I'm looking at that Note to Self sticker. I hesitated just a little bit because I wanted to make sure that it was the right sticker. And then I grabbed this chevron print. Um, at the bottom of her, she used a sticker that had like um, some writing in it. I'm not sure if she layered that one as well, but I ended up using just one of the stickers from the color coordinated to layer um, on top. And then I grabbed this red weekend adventures and the don't forget I, um, label to go on top as well. 
Finally, I grabbed um, two of the little asterisk icons, just like I used in the other one, but I cut those in half. And then I grabbed this flag because I don't have scallop washi, and I use that in place of the scallop washi. And then my shopping icon from my um, Heavy Planner Rolls. Now I lifted up the yellow sticker so that the black and white sticker can go there next. So I had already used the black and white sticker that she used and I believe she got it from the Color Story sticker book. So I ended up going with this black and white um, sticker from Today is the Day with the little heart on it. I th I'm sorry, Everyday Plan sticker book with the little heart and I thought it was so cute. Then I went into my colorful boxes, one of my new favorite sticker books, and I grabbed the um, hot pink box to lay it over top. So um, then I was just checking to make sure that I had everything, but I was missing the arrows that she included. I chose um, a pink one that was too long, and I was looking to make sure there was two actual short hot pink arrow stickers, and there were. So um, I picked up the longer one, put it back, because you always want to be able to reuse stickers if you can, and I laid down the two shorter ones. Um, pointing out where, where I can write any notes to myself for this week. Okay, so then I went looking for the to-do sticker that she had there, but um, I was unable to find it. I'm sure I used it in another spread. So what I'm going to do is um, just continue looking through those sticker books and I didn't want to spend too much time on it because I had already been recording for like 30 minutes guys so I decided to come up with an alternative which is what I had to do for the other stickers that I could not locate so I went back to my colorful boxes sticker book and I just grabbed a um, box that was very similar in color to the box that she used and I laid that down on Monday Okay guys, so that completed my um, I Tried Planning Like Abby D Creates. Now I'm just going to decorate a little bit for Memorial Day because it is a holiday for this week. So I definitely want to make sure that I place that in my planner. So I pulled out my seasonal sticker book and I went flipping through to find um, popsicles. I have been seeing them pop up everywhere. I'm absolutely in love with the way that, that, that they look. So I grabbed the popsicle from an older seasonal sticker book even though there are some from the newer one. Um, So I went into my planner basics, you can't go wrong with an oldie but a goodie, and I grabbed the black Memorial Day um, sticker because the others were gold and I didn't want it to clash with my spread. And then I saw those really cute yellow sunglasses there so I had to place those down and everything goes with the spread really well. Okay guys, I love the way this spread turned out this week. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up guys and keep creating and keep being happy. I know that um, there's been some controversy on the plan in the planner community um, over the last week or so. But you guys, remember to stay positive. This is a community where we uplift each other. And this is a hobby that people love and enjoy. So it shouldn't be filled with drama. So keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And plan a classy and sassy life, guys. Bye.